From the Masonic in San Francisco, it's The Q. Covering Lenovo Tech World 2016. Brought to you by Lenovo. Now, here are your hosts, Stu Miniman and John Walls. And welcome everyone to San Francisco. We're in the Masonic Auditorium at Le Lenovo Tech World. John Walls here along with Stu Miniman, who of course is a senior analyst for Wikibon and theCUBE. Huge day for Lenovo, Stu. Just a huge day. Star-studded announcements, great product launches on the infrastructure side, on the consumer mobile side, with Ashton Kutcher here doing demonstrations and really speaking quite eloquently about the entrepreneurial ship of the Lenovo products. And so, just your overall take on what we saw here on what was a wham, bam, hour and a half. Yeah, John, so, I mean, interesting uh, day because uh, different than kind of some of the stuff we typically do on theCUBE. Um, YY, the CEO of Lenovo came out, um, and as you said, right, Ashton Kutcher was up here dropping a phone to show it shattering. New tablets, new phones, cool devices, virtual reality, Intel CEO up on stage, um, but a lot of consumer tech, and then right in the middle, he's like, all right, we're going to do a boring session on infrastructure <laughs> and then get back to the cool stuff. Like an afterthought, uh, right? Exactly, and it, yeah. got a, it, got a, it got a good laugh from the audience here uh, because, of course, from theCUBE, you know, we love covering the infrastructure piece. Uh, Lenovo's a $46 billion company. Most people know them uh, from the mobile pieces, the PCs. Of course, they made a big acquisition of the IBM PC division over a decade ago, grew that to be number one in the space. Uh, about 18 months ago, uh, when they were already had done the Motorola acquisition on the mobile side, they spent $2.1 billion for the IBM System X. Mm -hmm. uh, they're getting servers, they OEM some storage from IBM, there's some networking components, um, and that's what we're here for, John, is to really dig into some of these enterprise functionality, um, and what they touched on in the keynote, it's how cloud ties into everything. Infrastructure is hugely important uh, in the cloud. It's how enterprises drive these out. Uh, you know, people, the devices. Uh, he said, uh, he said, people might think it's surprising that Lenovo would say that personal computing is you know, dying and going away. It's about connected uh, uh, you know, communications, and that's where the mobility and cloud uh, and, and the enterprise, the lines are blurring a lot, and that's what we're excited mm -hmm. to dig into. You know, um, on, the, on the consumer product side, there was a lot of talk about partnerships, you know, Google and what have you, but you see the same thing on the infrastructure side. In fact, that seems to be really a cornerstone of the Lenovo approach, their philosophy right now is, if we don't do it, we're going to align ourselves with people who are very good at that, like Juniper, for example. Yeah, absolutely, so right, there's, there's the components, uh, you, you look at the phone and say, okay, well, you know, Motorola and Lenovo, they make the phone, but uh, on the Moto side, it's, it's, it's an Android operating system, so why build the operating system when, you know, Android is, you know, the, the most deployed operating system? Uh, in the mobile space, uh, in the networking space, uh, the, there's intellectual property and knowledge that Lenovo knows real well, but uh, for hardcore networking, they're going to partner with Juniper. Uh, on the storage side, there's some stuff that uh, Lenovo does, they've got some OEM deals, both from uh, what the IBM piece does. We're going to talk to Nutanix today, mm -hmm. as the leader in the hyper-converged space they're partnering with. Uh, and then they've got more partnerships that we're going to dig into, including the likes of uh, Nexenta and Cloudian. Uh, but, you know, the, Lenovo has the platforms, uh, they have kind of the global brand and distribution. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when we talk about Dell, we talk about the global supply chain. Mm -hmm. uh, Lenovo competes in these spaces, both in the enterprise and the hyperscale. Uh, so, uh, you know, interesting to dig into all of these environments. Yeah, and they've, they've been, as you well know, I mean, I mean such a, a, a gorilla, if you will, in the PC market. Um, server side, you know, got a long way to go, a lot of runway there. And, and, and we'll talk about that, I'm sure, over the course of this day, but just your thoughts of looking at where they stand, 7% market share right now, I mean, I mean, they got a lot, of, a lot of room to grow. Yeah, so I, on the server side, right. I mean, IBM was a stalwart in the server space. I remember when Blade servers first launched, if you said, I want a high performance environment, you know, IBM was the standard. They really helped grow that whole Blade server marketplace. Cisco really came in and ate their lunch. <laughs> um, and, you know, just took massive, uh, you know, chunks out of specifically the, you know, the IBM Blade server marketplace. Uh, HP is still number one in servers. Uh, so when Lenovo buys the System X, uh, I actually moderated a panel at uh, IBM Edge right after the announcement was done. And I said, you know, this is the most that I've ever seen IBM talking about x86. And the room was half like the IBM System X people. And they were all really excited, really excited to the opportunity not to just be a piece of the overall broad portfolio that IBM had. And sometimes they felt they were underappreciated. But at Lenovo, they're going to be a centerpiece for the enterprise uh, push that Lenovo is making uh, to, to, to really expand their, uh, their, their presence uh, globally. And as I said, the, those lines between 
between uh, consumer and enterprise and cloud are, are blurring, so Lenovo's putting forth their vision uh, to where their products fit in the environment between the devices, uh, the people, and the cloud. Well, you know, I should have mentioned, Steve, by the way, we're on the keynote stage. Yeah. Um, and they're, I mean, they have just a fantastic audio visual setup here, so you're going to see some changing lights and things flickering. We've got a beautiful media demo room behind us, so really just a, a beautiful setup, one of our more elegant setups we've had in some time and looking forward to a very exciting day here on theCUBE. We'll be back with the first of our guests from the Lenovo Tech World in 2016 here in San Fran in just a bit.